guys think? Well, some pretty exciting stuff happening here. And to share some more information on it, we have Michael Dokey, who is the senior show producer for Universal Creative, and Alan Gilmore, who is supervising art director and design consultant for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley. Please put your hands together and welcome them to the stage. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us this evening. Now, uh, have a seat right there. Have a seat. Now, what information can you share with us regarding the new expansion? Now we can't hear you. Hold on. Try it. Try it again. All right, hang on. Let's switch you out. I'll stay you, bro you broke it already. Try this one. Did you blow it up? Did you blow it up? <laughs> Is this one working? Uh, I'm, I'm so excited for all of you. Um, there are so many fantastic details in this new land for you to see. Um, uh, it's coming soon. It's coming soon. But, Man, but I guarantee you, questions. Alan will agree that once you pass that threshold uh, and you enter Diagon Alley, there is magic on every street that you can interact with, that you will see, that will completely amaze you. Uh, this, we know, and it's kind of funny. We, we, we are working in the land, and we're seeing all of this come together, and we're trying to figure out, okay, which element are they gonna be most excited about? And uh, it's, it's all fantastic. I guarantee you will be amazed. Alan? Great. Hogs Lane is great, but Diagon Alley is gonna be absolutely amazing. You're gonna love it. My personal favorite, um, and you've seen some pictures here, is Ringgit Smack. When you walk into that space, it's majestic. Uh, the marble columns, the uh, glass ceilings, uh, the detail that is prevalent throughout the Smack is amazing. And there are other surprises that uh, await you as well, but uh, uh, we can't wait for you to experience it, as well as the magic. Uh, throughout the line. <laughs> but look, we want to know what time of day. You guys excited about the opening? I think they're ready. We saw that. Now, now James and Oliver, you guys have got to be excited about opening up your store. Weezes, Wizard and Weasel. Weezes, sorry. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> now, we have some cool stuff actually behind you. That we're gonna we're gonna talk about some first time ever we're revealing these products. Uh, we're gonna talk to you guys through them right now. I think we have the decoy detonator up first. Now, uh, when you need a diversion, just drop one of these and we'll run off, create a loud bang, terrible smell, and some black smoke. That is definitely the decoy detonator. Next, we have the umbrage on a unicycle, which is on. Prominent display at the Weezy's Wizard Weezes. This miniature Dolores Umbridge on unicycle travels aimlessly about spat spouting useless information just like Dolores herself. And last we have this nose biting teacup. Have your friends stealing your tea? Serve them one of these. That'll stop that real quick. Now, I understand, James and Oliver, we have some snack boxes you guys are going to talk us to. Yeah, can I start and say they won't make you sick <laughs> unless you play a lot and then go on the forbidden journey or <laughs> and then eat some more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of what every, whenever we speak to anybody about the uh, the Weasley Twisting Weasley joke shop, they always say, "I oh, wish I could have a snack box." Not necessarily for well, probably for getting out of school and stuff, but also to actually have a styled snack box. And as you can see, they're pretty pretty authentic looking. Um, so I can't, I can't wait. It's, I'm strangely intrigued what the puking pasties taste like. <laughs> also, these, these were, especially mine, but maybe Oliver as well. These were our favourite props from the whole movie. So um, when when we learned earlier that these were were going to be available, we got very excited. It'd be nice to see them actually in hand, actually edible. Yeah, that's what I'm looking to. Very nice. Now, so you haven't tried any of these yet? No, we sure. haven't. No. Excellent. <laughs> I'll have them here. 
We're gonna have to make that happen. We're gonna have to get you guys in there and let us know what you think of them when they come out here. Are you guys excited about the snack boxes? I thought so. Well, you know what? Here's what we want to do. We want to we want to open up some more questions right now. Uh, if I don't actually have a question for you, uh, what do you think about the guests being able to experience the Hogwarts Express? Now we saw you on there. You got to go through there. You got to see something that nobody out here has seen. What are your thoughts? Um, I think definitely like the park it needed this because it it first time I came here. Like obviously. Being going to help me was amazing, but I, all, I almost felt like I wasn't emotionally prepared for it. I was like, whoa, suddenly we're in help me, you know, and you, you come from the land of Sinbad, and it's like, what is going on? It's a bit, it's a bit jarring, and uh, I think having the Hogwarts Express, it kind of takes you out of the muggle world like the way it did for Harry, and then to, and it takes, like, I, I know, like, this was how it was for me, and it will be for these guys here in the screens, that you just, like, get very excited and like that, that will help, I don't know, just bridge that gap between Yamaha World and Wizard World. It really helps you immerse yourself in it and believe you're here, you know. All right, we're all very excited about that. Now, we actually had some fans submit some questions through social media. We're gonna ask those right now. And, and the first ones are for Alan and Michael. <laughs> They're like, oh no, I thought we were done. <laughs> Now, I gotta ask you guys, what is your role with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? Uh, I'll start. Uh, my role is to represent the, um, the film design team, the film production team, to help Universal bring this story to life and create this immersive environment, and create this most amazing environment that's never been seen before in the theme park world. Um, in Hogsmeade and Hogwarts, we, we succeeded in creating a beautiful place, but I believe in Diagon Alley, we have surpassed that level of detail, and you guys are gonna so love it. It's absolutely incredible. I can't wait for you to see it. And he's done an amazing job. And my job is to make sure that Universal delivers the intent that has been created by Stuart Craig and delivered by Alan. And I can certainly say, and I hope that Alan agrees with me, that we are going to surpass you know, everyone's expectation. We are, we're really, really excited. You guys are coming here this weekend. Um, we're very close to completing this project and we are really, really excited about how it's coming together. It's, it's beyond anything out there. You're absolutely going to love it. Now, what can guests expect from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley? That's uh, that's a loaded question because there's there's a lot that I can reveal um, and a lot I can't. But <laughs> like, we won't what, tell what, anybody. What, what, I, what I promise between us. What I promise is that on every street corner, or well, on every street there will be magic, uh, magic that you will uh, participate in and magic that you will observe. It's it's fantastic. These are full size. This is a city that you're walking in, and uh, there, there are streets and mysteries and magic on every street corner, and you're going to be amazed. When you pass from London through to Diagon Alley, you will be absolutely immersed. There's nothing else but you're in the world of Harry and his family and his friends, and the, the, the wizards, you are absolutely and utterly immersed. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Now we're gonna ask, what was the creative process like to bring the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Diagon Alley about? Um, well, it's, it starts with, with the script. It starts with the story, and that, it starts with JK. And uh, then the visuals are translated by Stuart Craig, and uh, directed and, and given to us by Alan. And our team at Universal uh, translates these illustrative drawings and concepts into uh, structures that can be built and they have to be built to represent what you see in the films, what you know as Diagon Alley and these iconic figures and uh, that's part of my job is to make sure that we fulfill that dream and that promise to bring to you the reality that you see in those films and I think we've done an excellent job. Yeah. I think they would agree. All right, thank you, Alan Michael. Now we got some questions for you guys. 
I'll actually throw this out to any of you. You can choose who answers this. It doesn't have to be all of you. You can pick one. Uh, how does it feel to see the Harry Potter films that you worked on come to life at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter? Awesome, because like I remember walking onto the sets for the first time, and everyone expected me to be really overall, and I was. But I was also like, "Where's the castle?" I, like I thought that it was a castle within a studio, and it was kept super secret. But no, all the rooms were disconnected. The chessboard was broken and taken apart. It was actually kind of heartbreaking. So coming here, like, yes, this is how it's supposed to be. They put it together finally. <laughs> so um, yeah, it, it, it's totally new for us. Like walking, even the, the like the Diagon Alley is, is a new part. Walking from London into Diagon Alley, like that is a special experience. It was for Harry, and I think it will be for every single person who goes through the park. So. Yeah.